What's up guys the Trinidad Fortnite guy here. In today's video, there is a lot of juicy information so make sure to watch the entire video like comment and subscribe. Before this video starts, I want to say thank you to Chaos Designs for my channel banner go check him out his links will be in the description. So for today's video, I interviewed Savage otherly known as Stefano the toxic fat fuck. Anyways let us get right into this video. My first question to Stefano was why did you leave mob or did you even leave mob because there are speculations that you were kicked before you got a chance to leave. Stefano responded I left mob had screenshots to prove there were several things done by the owner Amir which didn't appeal to me and when I brought them up he would just brush it off. What triggered me to leave was when Peter created an entire argument with one of my IRL friends after I told him multiple times not to and when this was brought to the owner's attention it was just brushed off like me or my friends don't matter to them. That was the last straw for me. I asked can I have those screenshots which he provided me with and he added yes I did leave mob on good terms at first but after all the bullshit with the mob and my friends, sinful, boom, Mike. It's safe to say we are far from good terms I asked Stefano before you joined the mob tt hash fearmab were you told that it was an organization? Stefano responded yeah I was told it was an org I asked were you told there were gonna be contracts signed? Stefano said yes I was told there were gonna be contracts I asked where you told that they were working on contracts? Stefano said yes I was told that haven't seen a draft of any sort up until the time I left, can't say for currently though I asked, were you also told that you were gonna get paid? Because there was a time where some of the mob members sent pictures of money to the group chat claiming mob paid them was that all made up, or was that true? Stefano said honestly no we never discussed any sort of payment the night I joined mob all they spoke about were the contracts I was never promised any sort of payment I can't speak for those members and I also can't recall when that was so I can't deny nor say it was true I said dry dry okay Stefano said but as far as I know nobody received money from the mob aside from that member who participated in tournaments and won except for our Leo. Alio had to wait some months for his winnings from a tournament, while his duo in the tournament was paid a couple of days after the said tournament. These are my thoughts on the mob. The mob boys are still my boys, some of them. However the owner is at fault for all of this lying to the community as every time he is faced with an issue regarding the public slash community he would brush it off or pass it off as people clout chasing either one and only Trinidad Fortnite guy said Lmao yay. Because everyone is randoms to them then I asked what are your thoughts of mob lying to their entire community? About being an organization. Because you were also a victim of this lie Stefano said my thoughts on this are it's bullshit men get signed to mob. Because of friend thing it had men out there grinding dropping 15 RCs. And thing and blind get signed without dropping 1 RC. That's high class bullshit, in my opinion. The boys in mob have good intentions their leadership is their downfall and he added in regards to lying about being an org I knew from the start. It wasn't an org I always considered it a clan. When I joined mob Amir asked me what's your intentions? My reply to that was I'm just here for the ride. But not all the youths knew what I knew. And they really thought they were grinding for an org I said yeah it was pretty obvious. But most trini people aren't really intelligent I asked. Is there anything you witnessed in maybe the private mob group chats which aren't acceptable you would like to share? Stefano said not really just one unacceptable thing from one ex mob member I asked and what is that? Stefano said before I get into this hear me out I said, ok bread Stefano said as most people know I'm very toxic, when people are toxic to me, I have no problem with it, because I'm very toxic, when I saw Cyborg was complaining about Olio being toxic I was beyond amazed, because he's one of the most toxic racist person I've seen in my life I was shocked to see that level of racism from somebody so young I acted like soldier boy in this bitch. Ratist. Stefano said now obviously I won't say this without proof I said oops Stefano send the screenshot and also I blurred out Tricky's face because this video is going to be public but I will release this to Tricky himself without the blurring so he can confirm it is a picture of him. I saw all the content and views coming my way so I said now this interview just got 100% better. Stefano said now how 
Could this person complain about Olio being toxic when this is the type of person he is? I said the fact that Cyborg played the victim in the last interview, but never stated the wrong things he's done. If fuck Stefano said the reason he's so salty is because Olio bodied him in a 1v1 5 dash 1 was the score I think I said damn and I thought he was the second best in the mob I also asked is there any more information you like to share? Savage said do you have any more questions? I kinda pressed for time Cyborg is a good player I'll give him that but he's too egotistical I said I'll love to get a discord to call him Cyborg, Tricky, myself and you. If you're down comment down below if you guys want to see that discord call. I also said because he is gonna get a lot of hate after this video so he would have to make some sort of public statement Stefano said only other info I have is an ml from the owner of mob kicking my friend. So sad that the owner doesn't know basic primary school grammar like past and present tense I said I have the screenshot from that chat that says another thing because an organization is supposed to have a management team behind them who wouldn't make simple mistakes and that's the end of the interview guys. Wow, that was a lot of information turns out mob lied to yet another member and Cyborg is a racist calling people niggas and niggas like what the fuck. Before this video ends I just want to make this clear. I do not hate mob. I just started these videos because the community was really dry and there was no original content being made. I made these videos about mob only because they lied about a lot of stuff that's it guys make sure to fucking like and subscribe pussy.